All right, guys, what's going on? Back here with another video, and hopefully the last server we're gonna be unboxing for a while here. So, this is the Dell PowerEdge R240. Um, this is gonna be a new PSNS machine. This is gonna be returning all the networks on the, <laughs> well, the network. So let's go ahead and get started here. So I got this machine for pretty cheap off eBay. Um, I've been trying to use, I've been trying to get away from using uh, virtual machines as my routers. I've kind of had bad experience with them going down my hypervisor and missing critical functions, just stopping when that hypervisor goes down. So um, I think it's time to finally just go ahead and buy a um, physical machine, which I've been doing for a while now. Um, on the previous setup, I used a Mac Mini. In previous setups to that, I used um, Dell R210s, Dell R430s, stuff like that. So, um, yeah, this should be a nice, a nice, nice router for the foreseeable future. Plenty of um, CPU horsepower to drive the OpenVPN tunnels. And yeah, let's go ahead and get started. So, and uh, yeah, I'm opening it upside down because all my information is in the front. So, I'm gonna try to just. This knife has caused me so much pain in the past. I'll the side. Alright. This thing's nice and packed, I will say. Um, Alright. Oh. It's got a bezel. Wasn't expecting that, which is cool. Alright. So, I'll put this off to the side for a second. How we're looking? Looks good, looks good. All right, let me see if I can spin this thing around so you guys can see a little bit better. Let's see how that looks. Yeah, it'll work. So, yeah, here's the R240. Um, one new server, obviously. The specs are, um, it's a G5500. 3.8 gigahertz Intel, I think it's a Xeon, um, 8 gigs of RAM, and does not have a hard drive. Um, I did not think this came with a bezel, so I did buy one. It's a pretty interesting bezel. Uni Unitrends, it's pretty cool. I'm not going to be using this stuff. Uh, let me see here. But yeah, pretty cool, pretty cool. Um, this is a large form factor unit, so this is a um, 4 bay. As you guys can see right there, 4 bay R240. Um, I'm going to pop it open and uh, take you guys off the tripod so you guys can see what's inside this thing. Alright guys, so here's the inside of this thing. Um, as you can see, we have got the four large form factor bays. Um, we've got the heat sink and the uh, air baffle right there. We've got two PCI slots. I think one's by 16, one's by 8. We've got the cabled um, drive um, cables. <laughs> uh, this is obviously not a hot swappable machine. Uh, doesn't have a back pen or anything like that. It also looks like it's missing the uh, CD drive. So bare bones as possible, as cheap as possible. Um, also single power supply there. So yeah, we are good to go here. Not very much going on here. If I put this thing around to the back, uh, let's see. You guys can kind of see what the aisle looks like in the back here. So let's see. We've got iDRAC, two gigabit LANs, two USB 3.0 ports, and that's about it, really. Um, very bare bones, very no frills for a router. Um, yeah, perfect, perfect, perfect. So uh, let's go ahead and get this thing on the test bench and uh, load up PFs. All right, so obviously before we uh, get this thing booted up, we're gonna need some storage. So I've got a 256 gigabyte um, NVMe drive, and I've got the 40 gigabit network card in there, so we don't have to install that later. So let's go ahead and get this thing in there. All right, guys, so as you can see, we've got everything all hooked up on the test bench. We've got um, all three ethernet connections, iDRAC and the two gigabit. Also got keyboard monitor and mouse hooked up. So uh, what we're going to go ahead and do is we're going to go ahead and set up iDRAC first. That's how we're going to be loading PFSense on this machine since I have not had the best of luck with uh, PFSense USBs. So 
Let's go ahead and hit the power button and see what this thing does. All right. That's weird, look at that. It's got a uh, aftermarket um, boot screen, interesting. So let's go ahead and see what we got here. Uh, um, let's see some new information first. Recovery series back in the plug, it's pretty cool. Uh, let's see. See if you have any disablement. Yep. Go. Group setting, DO5, we're good. Alright. Let's go to device settings here. Alright guys, so we're back the next day, so what we had to do, um, or what I had to do was just go ahead and figure the eye track on the machine, however, um, eye track is acting up, we're not, I'm not able to figure out why um, it won't hold an IP address and stuff, so uh, I'm going to come back to the whole eye track thing later and just do a local install for via um, keyboard mouse and video. So I'm going to go ahead and power this thing on, I did go ahead and burn a PSN to USB drive. Um, which I have not had luck with in the past, but I think this should work this time. And uh, I'll go ahead and come back when this thing is uh, starting to boot up. So I've been working on this for a little while now, um, and it turns out the R240 does not support um, booting from NVMe drives, which is kind of stupid. So what I'm going to do is just use one of these uh, set of SSDs I have laying around and pop that in there and hope it actually works. Alright, so here we are finally installing the right way. Um, I went ahead and set the RAID configuration to AATI mode. Um, I also went ahead, wow, it was quick. <laughs> and I just uh, put in the 500 gig set of drive. So, um, I'm not going to open up a new shell. And we're going to reboot. I'm gonna pull this out. All right, so we're here, and there's our EFI disc, and it should be PSNs. And there we are. All right, cool. So we have our four interfaces right there. Um, it's not, it's gonna cut off, but as you can see, we've got our 240 gigs and then our two gigabit Ethernet port. So we're gonna head and do no from the VLANs. WAN interface, I think, is gonna go ahead and be BGE0. So I'm gonna do BGE0. Um, WAN is gonna be BGE1. Optional, no, we're not going to set those up now. We do want to proceed. And it's going to look for a IP address. Um, obviously, there's no DHCP servers on this VLAN, so uh, there's not really going to be any. So a battery died there, but what I was saying was um, it's not going to find a WAN interface because obviously we don't have any DHCP servers on the subnet on this VLAN. So. Yeah, that's the time out here eventually, and um, all I'm looking for is it to go um, to the screen where everything's there. So, just waiting here for a second. All right, and there we are. So there's all our stuff here. Um, I will go ahead and configure the LAN real quick um, because that is something that we're going to be doing soon anyway. So we're going to do the LAN. Guessing that's two. 
So we're going to do take this. 172.16.10.24 slash 24. After you do anything with that, after you do anything with that, um, we are not going to enable the DHCP server right now. There we go. Boom. Just like that. Um, the WAN obviously is going to be. The WAN is obviously incorrect. So. Yeah, guys, that's pretty much it. So now, all we gotta do is go over and put the bezel on this beautiful, beautiful bezel that I got for it. Um, you guys know I love Dell, Dell bezels. We have a Dell EMC XC Series bezel We're gonna be pop, popping on this thing here. So, let's go ahead and put that on there. All right, that's very nice right there. Look at that. That's a thumbnail right there. Very nice. Look at that. Very pretty, very pretty. So, there we have it, guys. Um, there is the PFSense router all installed. Um, I don't have rails for it. The rails are actually going to be here in like three or four weeks. Um, I'm going to add the order them from some other country um, because I couldn't find them here for whatever reason. But, yeah, um, at a decent price tag. So, yeah. Um, thanks guys so much for watching. Um, the rails are on the way for this thing so we can get it installed in the rail, installed in the rack ASAP. But yeah, thanks so much for watching guys and I will talk to you in the next one.